<clears throat> we're yeah we're building on what we're what, how we feel together as a group you know so it doesn't really matter what uh, outside uh, people are thinking or expecting of us but um, we're putting one good day in a time yesterday and another one today and we're just going to continue doing that and uh, and that feels good I think we were a confident group right now for sure coach coach spoke quickly about how you guys are there for each other talk to us about that chemistry between you maybe some new additions also it's yet to sure. be proven but in general terms please um well like I said it's been uh, it hasn't been too long we haven't had too long off but I mean we when we were out there playing it, it's it's it feels like, you know, it feels good. It feels effortless. We feel connected to each other. We, we know what's going to happen before it's happening, you know, and that's a good feeling. Um, I think there's a lot of, still a lot of communication uh, to continue building on that. There's areas we can get better, but I, I do feel like it's like um, a real connection between the players, for sure. Thank you. Steve, talking about confidence, um, pretty much same team from last year is coming back. You know, you guys make it to semifinal, per se, Western Conference final. Um, how how good does that feel knowing that okay you have the same team we made we, you know we were pretty close is that a better feeling to come back with that or or maybe you're thinking hey we need some pieces to get us over the top? sure i mean it's definitely just different than last year because we were kind of searching for an identity but i will say and 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 to uh, to your question as well it's like look this year uh, just because we have confidence we have a feeling and we're a more uh, cohesive group there's going to be a lot of challenges they're different than last year Okay, so we're ready to meet those challenges. They could be unforeseeable or whatever they meet, but we're ready to meet those challenges. It, it, uh, there's, because we feel good as a group, because we feel confident, um, and we're different than last year, it doesn't mean this, this uh, pursuit in 2024 is going to be um, any less challenging. We're, we're ready to face that head on. So, From what Pat is telling us, it seems like you know, this team is going to go out there and fight pretty much with the same team as last year. They're trying to make some signings here and there, maybe up front, but it doesn't look like there will be any big signings. Having that in mind and as a player, um, is chemistry good enough? If, you know, I, that was the talk last year that what this team got so far because of the chemistry between all of you guys. Is that good enough to win a championship? Um, well, I, um, I think that we uh, have the players in the group that, yeah, we're good enough to compete, and we're, that's our aim to win a championship for sure. So, um, the, the you know the GMs the GM and the coaches that's their business. Me and the players we're we're focused on competing today. You know, and the way that you uh, win a championship isn't by like proclaiming it. It's about working every day and and um, competing, and, and that's what we're doing for sure. You're a veteran. There are two homegrown players. Kieran also practiced with the team last season. But how do you see yourself in the locker room as a veteran helping these guys out? Yeah, I mean that's one of the parts of the job that I find really rewarding and fun just to talk with them and you know. It, it was a while ago before I was there, but it feels like uh, a year or two. So um, I understand what they're going through, and it's uh, it's a added benefit to making saves, but also helping another human being and something they really care about, which is soccer. And that's something that I really enjoy for sure. Steve, how how will you as a leader in the locker room, um, especially from the back line, continue to be a, a huge voice into this season where? You're for sure playing three tournaments, uh, a little iffy on the Open Cup, uh, possibly four. Um, just, just speak on that. Um, well, <clears throat> I think it's very important to do my job first on the field and be a goalkeeper and focus on making saves and hitting my passes because it, as a leader you can get lost in thinking about the big picture, but it's, it's my job to stay focused on myself. If, if I have time to uh, help others, then that's the next priority. But you have to put your own oxygen mask on first, like they tell you on the plane. But um, I, I, I enjoy that. Again, I enjoy that part of the, the, the game. I, I, I like uh, competing. That's why one of the reasons why I came to Houston, to, to uh, change culture, and it feels good, for sure. Steve, do you have an opinion on the debacle with the Open Cup this offseason? I mean, I, I think that uh, I'm a player who's always enjoyed going and, and playing the uh, – you know, you, you're playing, I w okay, so I, I played for the Michigan Bucks in 2006, and I played against the Columbus Crew. It was the biggest thing in our town, you know, in, 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 in Michigan. And that was a really uh, uh, amazing experience for me as a, as a young player. Um, and I think there's a lot of the soul of the game that, that belongs in the uh, Open Cup, and there's a lot of that that's, you know, important. Um, but I'm not, I'm, that's not my pay grade, you know, I'm a player, and uh, I, I just have to leave it to the people who are involved, so.
what can you share about uh, this off season? You know how, how you lived it. Uh, do you just kind of disconnect? Do you do you still kind of focus on this season? Do you all keep in touch? What, what can you tell us? I mean, I think every off season is different, but. Um, you know, I th this one particularly was like just change my routine because as a player you're in the same routine for 11 months a year. So change my routine and just stay away from the game. Uh, a lot of lifting and fitness, but but staying away mentally from the game for sure. Any particular places uh, visited? Um, I mean, I, I, have a, I have a young daughter now, so it was a little more stationary. But we we had some vacations. It was a, overall it was a really uh, nice time for sure. Anything else? Good. All right. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, Steve.